Hello friends, welcome to TechTood. Today we are going to look at a question on lattice. So look at these questions and don't get scared. And this question has been asked in gate 2015. Now let's break this question down into two parts. So first let's look at what the question says. So we are given a lattice L and this is the hash diagram of the lattice. Now we are constructing a new set which is L cube which is defined as given in the question here. So in our first part we will look at how this new set is defined and then we will move on to solve the question which is to find the probability such that the elements of this new set that we have created will satisfy this given property. So what we need to do is first we are going to construct this set and see how many of the elements that belong to this particular set that is mentioned in the question will satisfy the property that is given here. And calculate the probabilities. So for your reference here I have again drawn the lattice L which is composed of the element P, Q, R, S and T. And we are going to construct a new set but before constructing a new set let me give you some primer on how a new set is constructed. So let us consider a set S which consists of element 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now we can construct any new set from this given set by performing some basic operation. Let's say you, you, you create a set S1 which has the element 1, 2. So this element, this set is created by having the two of the elements of set S which are element 1 and element 2 and we also call this as the subset of S. Now we can also construct a new set S2 where we where we define this set S2 as the set constructed by multiplying the elements of set S1 by 2. So, to, for, for the first element I multiply 1 by 2 and so the first element of set S2 will be 2. For second element I multiply this element by 2 and the element of this set will be 4, 6, 8 and 10, so on. I could also say that I am constructing a set S3 such that the elements of this set S3 belongs so I am constructing a new set S3 such that the elements of this set S3 belongs elements belongs to S cross product S what what would that mean that would mean when we take the cross product of the set S with itself we will get total of there are 5 elements so in this set we will get 25 elements and the ordered pairs will be 1 will be paired with 1 and then 1 can be paired with 2 1 can be paired with 3 and 1 can be paired with 5 similarly 2 can be paired with 1 2 can be paired with 2 2 can be paired with 3 and 2 can be paired with 5 Similarly, 5 can be paired with 1, 5 can be paired with 2, and 5 can be paired with 5. So, a set S3 can be constructed such that the elements of this set will be the ordered pair obtained by cross-producting 
the set S. Similarly, we can construct a new set by cross-producting the same set three times. So this is what is happening in this question. We, we, are, we are given a lattice L whose hash diagram is given as in the figure and we are constructing a set L cube which is nothing but L cross-producted by L cross-producted again with L. So we will have a total of how many elements? So if you look closely in the diagram here, we are given the lattice L which has total of 5 elements. Now, so we know already that this lattice L consists of 5 elements. So L cube which is nothing but cross producting L with itself 3 times. So due to the lack of space here, I am not going to write each and every element but what we can infer is that this L cube will consist of 5 into 5 into 5 that is 125 elements. Now what we need to compute is the probability with which the elements that belongs to this particular set will satisfy a certain property. And now what is that property? That property is, so that property is this property. Now, don't get scared by reading the symbols here and try to understand the meaning. So it has already given in the question that for any two elements that belong to this lattice, we have defined join and meet to be represented by this symbols. Now, what is join and what is meet? For a given lattice, join is defined as the least upper bound of two elements. So, let's say you want to find out what is the join of element Q and element R. So, element Q and element R have a, are upper bounded by the element T. So, so join of Q and R is equal to T. So what this means is Q and R are upper bounded by T. Similarly, meet is defined as So if, if I ask you what is the meet of Q and R, what that means is what is the greatest lower bound of Q and R? So we know that element Q and element R are lower bounded by P which also happens to be the greatest lower bound. So meet of Q and R is element P. So now this, this thing, this thing could also be represented as instead of writing join Q comma R we can write Q and then this symbol of R which you don't need to mug up is T and also meet of Q and R is Q and a symbol of AND. So I'm, I'm saying here, please note this point down. Don't, don't interpret the symbol as AND in the logical operation. This symbol here denotes join and meet. All right. So just for your connections, I'm saying that this or looking symbol is join and this and looking symbol is meet but you don't need to mug it up. So this is P. Similarly if I ask you what is the join of Q and P or all, alright so Q you can say that Q, Q and P have two upper bounds which is Q itself and T but the least of both of them because we are going to find least upper bound. So join is defined as least upper bound of two elements that belong to a particular lattice. So we have two upper bounds here for the element Q and element P and those two are Q and T but the least of them is Q therefore 
join of join of q and p is join of q and p is q and meet of q and p is p why because meet is defined as greatest lower bound of two element that belong to a lattice so what we have done so far is that we are given a lattice and we have constructed a new lattice where each element is a triplet which is formed by cross producting the same set three times and now we know that we need to satisfy this condition which con which is imposed on the properties of lattice which is join and meet so we need to satisfy this property and how are we going to do that so we already know that l cube will consist of 125 elements and we need to find the elements which will satisfy the property so we need to satisfy this property if we translate it to simple words what this means is we have already seen that this symbol is meet so we need to find meet of meet of element y and z and after finding this we need to find join of x and whatever will be the meet of y and z and then again for the right hand side we need to find first the join of x and y and for this term over here the join of x and z and find the meet of both of these term so in, in english in simple words what we need to do is so for the left hand side what we need to do is find the meet of y and z first and then again find the join of x and the new term obtained here and then for the right hand side we need to find the join of x and y and then again the join of x and z and again find the meet of both of these and equate them if this condition holds true for our three choices x y and z we can say that this property is satisfied so let me recap so we have already seen that the total number of elements in the set l cube will be 125 and now we need to count how many elements of this same set l cube will hold this property which i have just translated you in simple words here and we can then find the probability that is given in the question so we have already counted out how many elements will be there in this set l cube which turns out to be 125 and now we need to count out how many elements of this same set l cube will satisfy this property given here so let's see let's first take a concrete example let's take x is equals to t y is equals to q and z is equals to r so we find out first that the meet of y and z so what will the what will be the meet of y and z which is the element q and element r which will be p and then again for lhs for lhs and for rhs right so for lhs the meet of y and z is p and then again the join of x and p is p so this is all about lhs now let's look at rhs we are going to try to satisfy this condition and see what comes out so first we need to find out the meet of x and y so the meet of x and y is the meet of element t and element q so element t and element q meet at element q and then again the meet of element x and element z so element x and element z they meet at 
which is ele which is the element t and element r so t and r meet at r now again we need to find out the join of q and r so q we have element q and we have element r and we need to find out what is the join of both of these element so both of these element join at t so here you can see that for lhs we get final result at as t and for rhs as well we get final result as element t so here both of these are equal so this particular configuration of x is equal to t y is equal to q and z is equal to r satisfies this condition and similarly you will see that for x is equal to t for element y and for element z we can list any element from this set l which is con which consists of element p q r s and t so here we can have five values and here also we can have five values so total of 25 values will be there for which this property holds when x is equal to t and y and z could take any value from the set now again there will be one more configuration which is x is equals to r and y equal equals to p and z equals to p so this particular configuration will also hold this property so we now see that there are total of 26 elements that belong to this particular set l cube that satisfy the property and there are total of 125 elements in this set so the required probability that is asked in the question will be 26 divided by 125 which we can write as 25 plus 1 upon 125 so we can write this term as 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 125 this clearly shows that the probability will be greater than 1 upon 5 the four options that were given in the questions were probability will be zero. So by this we get an intuition that the probability will be strictly greater than 1 upon 5 and probability is upper bounded by 1 because the probability of any event cannot be greater than 100%. So D is the answer. I know it's a lot to take but breaking the question down into smaller parts and solving them first is a better approach thank you for watching this video goodbye and keep learning